In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to make the US 1862 expanding ball cartridge using the 4th Armory template and former. So the first thing you're gonna need is some paper to make your cartridges out of. And I find that this masking uh, paper that you can get from any big box home improvement store uh, seems to fit the bill. It's about the thickness of newsprint, uh, so it's about the right thickness and the color is about the right color based on some surviving examples. Um, so it works really well and it's also uh, very low cost. So. Um, to get started with, you're probably going to want to, to do more than one template at a time. And so it's convenient to just fold a few layers of the paper. You can probably do up to 10 at a time. I'm just gonna do a few here for an example. And then you can lay your template here. And as you can see, you can probably get, you know, at least a couple of them per, per go. So you're gonna lay your template down and you want a sharp razor knife and Press down on your template and keep your fingers out of the way, and then just follow along the template with the razor knife. And as you can see, it's very easy to produce numerous copies in one go. So the next step is to turn the pieces of paper into cartridges. And to do that, you're going to need a setup similar to this. Uh, this is just a scrap piece of wood. I've secured a dowel in it, tied some string across it, uh, around it, and uh, attached it to another dowel. And this is what's called a choking cord. And this is used to choke the ends of the cartridges so that they can be tied to secure them. So let's demonstrate that. So to start with, you'll take your piece of paper and your former, and you'll place the, the uh, former, the, the mandrel, along the bottom edge of the paper, pointing at the longest end of the trapezoid. And then you just wrap it up. And you wanna leave you know, maybe a half inch or so of paper uh, at, at the end here. So we're just gonna wrap it up. And then we're gonna use our choking cord to secure the end of the cartridge. And so to do that, you just wrap one time around the cartridge like so, put your finger over the end, and then pull the cord so that it collapses the tube. And you should end up with a little flower looking thing like this on the end of your cartridge. Then we're gonna use some string, and in this case it's linen, uh, three ply, which is what they would have used in period. And we secure the cartridge with two half hitches. And then just fold the end down on the nose of the former and withdraw the mandrel. And this is one of the two tubes that you'll need. And this was the expediency of the 1862 cartridge versus the predecessor, the 1855, it was a much simpler design. There's only one kind of paper and there's only one pattern to produce. And you just, you make two tubes per cartridge. So they were very, very fast to, to manufacture as opposed to the 1855 style. So then we just make a second tube, same way as the first tube, roll it up and choke it. And again, some string and you want to make sure that you tie these reasonably tight so that there's no gap in the end of the flower there because uh, one of these tubes holds the powder one of the tubes becomes the powder chamber and one of the tubes is what holds the bullet so you want that you know a nice pinched up end so these are the two tubes that we've made that uh, constitute the US 1862 style of cartridge. So the next st uh, step is to get a bullet and uh, these bullets in period would have been sized and they would have been lubricated with a lubricant of one part of tallow to eight parts of beeswax. Now this bullet is not lubricated nor sized, it's just for demonstration purposes, but you get the idea. So you'll take one of your cartridges, cartridge tubes, and down goes the bullet. And then we take the next cartridge tube, which is identical, 
and place it down inside. And the next step is to charge the cartridge. And in period, the charge was 60 grains of musket powder. So we have 60 grains. And then finally, we close up the cartridge by simply pinching the tail end down to the level of the powder. And then this is folded over at the level of the powder. And then each side is folded in towards the middle. And finally, you fold the tail back on itself and then back down along the side of the cartridge and just give it a pinch so it wants to stay put. And that's it. That is your 1862 U.S. expanding ball cartridge made using the 4th Armory template and mandrel.